This is Blue Whale, an Israeli-developed autonomous submarine. It's designed for navies wanting to move away from manned platforms doing dangerous tasks. So this is looking at some of the capability challenges that navies around the world have today. It's looking at the detection of undersea vehicles, submarines, enemy submarines. It's looking at conducting passive and uh, 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 intelligent ISR missions in advance of potential amphibious landings. Blue Whale isn't new, it's conducted thousands of hours of operations. So why aren't there more autonomous submarines out there? Because, until relatively recently, the subsea domain hasn't had the attention of space or land. But adversaries are recognising the disruption that can be caused by attacking the telecommunication cables and energy pipelines that lie on the seabed. As we see a resurgent Russia, a belligerent China, and navies around the world investing in ASW technologies, it is absolutely vital that the Royal Navy and, its, and her NATO partners invest in ASW detection sense capabilities. The threat to national security has focused attention. The UK's first crewless submarine, Cetus, is due to come into service in the next 12 months. According to the Royal Navy, it'll be the length of a bus and the largest and most complex crewless submarine operated by European navies. The US Navy recently took delivery of its first autonomous submarine, dubbed the Orca. It has a large payload and can go on long-duration critical missions. Meanwhile, ELTA are continually working on Blue Wave updating it with the latest technology. So we have moved away from a standard uh, towed array system to more a triplet array. And the benefit that that gives is it takes away the bearing ambiguity from, from uh, undersea detections. Uh, we've also moved to incorporate a magne magnetic anomaly detection system within the array so we can get better classification of contacts that we uh, that we have detected in preparation for queuing manned platforms to come and further investigate. We, we, we've also upgraded all of the software within the, within the platform to make it much more autonomous uh, and therefore getting a higher level of classification before bell ringing and queuing the manned platform to come and investigate. That technology has been put forward for the Royal Navy to consider under Project Charybdis, which is looking to improve the service's anti-submarine warfare capability. Claire Sadler, Forces News.